Hey guys, it's Rianne, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorites from September. I'm glad September is over because I love October. Look at, look at, it's freaking bats. I love Halloween. October is probably my favorite month. I love fall. Um, even though right now, as I'm filming this, it is 91 degrees outside. <laughs> Happy fall. Actually, this is like significantly cooler because a few days ago it was 102 degrees outside, so it is just hot here in Southern California. In Southern California, we get about eight days where it actually feels like fall. That's probably why it's my favorite season because we just really don't get very much of it and I really love to savor those eight days. Um, but yeah, we mostly just have like extended summer and then spring, so. My first favorite is Cardio Bar, and I have been going since uh, like the last week of July, and I actually really hate it a lot less than I hate most workouts. I absolutely loathe exercise. I do not like it at all, and there are a lot of people in my life that love to exercise, and I just don't get it at all. I just don't understand. I wish I did love exercising, because then maybe I would do it a lot more, but I really hate it, uh, and I put it off as much as I can. But with the discovery of Cardio Bar, I have been really Really happy because I actually kind of enjoy it actually it's actually a really good fit for me um, I did dance in high school I did dance a little bit in college um, and so I have a little bit of a dance background I'm not like a prima ballerina by any means but I do really like to do ballet for exercise so I had a feeling that cardio bar would be like kind of up my alley because there is the whole bar aspect and there's definitely a lot of ballet in the workout. I also really hate running, and so it's really nice for me to have a cardio workout that's an alternative to running. Um, so if you're like me and you are sort of like more of a dance type person, or if you're looking for a workout, you haven't found one that you actually really like, um, maybe you should try Cardio Bar. However, I want to warn you, it is very difficult. I, you know, I'd been to Soul Cycle before and I was like, oh my gosh, Soul Cycle is so hard. And I was reading the comments before I went to Cardio Bar to like get an idea of what I should wear and what I should bring. Um, and people were like, oh my Oh my gosh, it's harder than Soul Cycle. And I was like, there's no way it's harder than Soul Cycle. Soul Cycle is so hard. It's harder than Soul Cycle. So although I really don't like working out, I love workout clothes. Um, I love workout clothes because A, they're motivation to go to the gym, and B, because I like to wear them when I'm not at the gym all the time because they're pretty comfortable. A couple of weeks ago, I dragged my friend Nicole to my bar class with me. So if you're watching Nicole, hello. Uh, and before we went, we were talking about different workout clothes uh, companies and so she was like oh have you heard of Sunita Athletics um, and I hadn't and she showed me their website and then I had to place an order so that's how that works. The first thing I got from Sunita is this peach colored workout top. I thought it was really cute. I really like this braid detail that goes down the back. It's just a great you know peach colored workout top can't go wrong. And then these are a pair of Sunita leggings, which I'm obsessed with because they're this really cool electric purple color. They have these awesome pockets that are zippers on the sides um, and they're long because I love the feeling of long leggings. I just, I, they just like suck you all in and it's kind of like getting a hug on your legs. Um, and they have this other cool little pocket right here. But yeah, they're super comfortable, they have really cute designs, and I'm a huge fan. Definitely go and check Sunita Athletics out, and you can use my code RIAN for 10% off. My next favorite is actually a documentary I saw on the British Vogue YouTube channel. It is called What on Earth is Wellness? And it is hosted by Camille Rowe, who is a model. And I actually didn't know who she was before I saw the documentary but I kind of just want to be her best friend now. I love the way that when she's interviewing people, you can tell she actually really cares about the other person and what they have to say. Um, and she also is very intelligent. And so I think it's like a really well done series. It's all on YouTube and it's kind of a fun documentary where she's just kind of delving into the world of wellness and she interviews a bunch of different people who are experts in their fields. And I don't know, it's just really fun. I really like it. So yeah, I'll have it linked in the information bar below if you want to check it out. For those of you who have been here for a while know that I, am obsessed with vintage everything, uh, especially vintage designer, I just love it. Um, and so when I found these shoes on Poshmark, I had to have them, and they are probably my favorite things that I own right now. No, they definitely are. Um, and they are my vintage Gucci loafers. Ah! So when I saw these on Poshmark and they were my size, I was like, I have to own those. Those must be mine. These are my favorite shoes that I own now. I'm obsessed with them. I sometimes just take them out of the drawer and stare at them, so definitely a favorite for me. 
My last favorite is another vintage favorite, and it is my vintage Gap denim jacket from the 90s. I absolutely can't believe that I found this because it is the exact like square cut from the 90s. It even has like some family name. It says O'Neill on it a bunch of times from you know the kid who owned this before me. So I'm obsessed with this. It's like I said, real vintage Gap. I love that it's like cropped and it's kind of a square shape. The sleeves are cropped. It's amazing. Um, and I got this at this thrift store. I can't believe I found it, um, but yeah. Anyway, that brings us to the end of my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye guys.